Hello. Hello, my fans. Like and subscribe. So far, these the people that's in custody. As y'all know, the two on the left is already been in custody, but the one on the far left, they just got, and he's telling on everybody. On the low, low. On the low, low. Yo Gotti and Rachel Raven and her father is about to be picked up in a minute. Those three people is about to be picked up in a minute. This morning, here before a judge this morning, Hernandez Golden is charged with first degree murder and conspiracy among other charges. Investigators say Golden put out a hit on the Memphis rapper. They believe Golden started planning the murder months before Dolph was actually gunned down. Now, this man right here put a plot out on young Dolph to be killed. He's the one that put the plot out for young Dolph to be killed, y'all. But they got another arrest. And this guy is... Like and subscribe, y'all. ...of young Dolph one year ago. Sources tell Fox 13 News Johnson surrendered a few hours later, proclaiming his innocence. Our sources also tell us Jamarcus Johnson is the half-brother of Justin Johnson, who is already in jail, charged in Young Dolph's murder. So, so with that being said, y'all, with that being said, y'all, this guy right here, is his half brother so they are kin and this guy right here used to date can y'all guess can y'all actually guess who he used to date raven where did the crime commit at at the Cookie Monster Shop, Raven's mother and father cookie shop. This man right here used to date Raven. And this man right here is his brother. Half brother. Or half cousin. But they are related. And he used to date Raven. I guess everybody's saying, wow, small world, the shit is coming out the closet. So everybody know he's talking about how Raven is involved, a legend. We all know it ain't a legend. We all know he's talking when it comes to that life in prison. He's going to tell everything. So that the other guy that they got locked up, that planned the killing of young dog, he's going to tell too. But I could see it in his eyes. He's going to tell everything. He already been told a little bit. Let's move on. Subscribe and like. Oh, I'm up in this motherfucker. Yeah, check this out. Young Dolph got killed in Memphis at the cookie shop. It's a damn shame that he thought the people that he loved wasn't going to take him out. But he had it all confused. People took him out that he know that he hung around with. But that's okay because the Rico case is coming when their ass get locked up. And the key thrown in the ocean, yeah. Goddamn, here I go again, talking about young Dolph being killed by some fuck niggas and fuck girls. I'm on the mic speaking for him, talking about him, rapping about him.
talking about the facts that wanna come out his mouth, but he can't, cause he's six feet in the ground, but that's alright, young dog, we got your back, we got your side, we got your, we, 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 we got your justice coming in the back door, as them people left out the back door, we done slipped in the back door, bringing you justice, but just sit back and relax, because I know you up in heaven looking at these corrupt ass dudes, and these fuck niggas that was hanging around you, but that's alright, check this out, I'm on a mission, and a lot of us is on a mission, yeah, one thing for sure, we got your back, baby, got your back, baby, shout out to Young Dolph, Justice for him. Rest in peace, my dude. I love you. Wait till they catch all these fuck niggas that killed that good brother. Their own brother. Their own black person. Over dumb shit. I'm out here to tell y'all it was over dumb shit. Over hating. Hating on cause he growing up. Getting in front of them in life. Having a good lifestyle, yeah, they hated that, they took his life, now he in the ground, but he up in heaven looking down at y'all fools, looking up at him every day y'all laying in the bed, he looking down at y'all telling y'all, y'all fucked up, I'm out to get y'all asses, and that's exactly what's happening. Young Dolph is out to get y'all asses, getting y'all one by one. Yeah, Raven, you sitting back looking, thinking you got away with this bullshit. Yeah, but you and your father got another thing coming. Rico case is coming, and they coming to get that fat ass. Better believe that. Yeah. And get your commissary money together so you can go and buy a lot of bananas in the girl prison. Cause you will need it cause you won't get no more dick. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gang, 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 gang. Yeah, let's go. Watch this video on through, y'all. Keep on watching. You know what I'm saying? Keep on watching this video on through. Let's get, let's get, let's get with this. I got some more shit to show y'all. Sit back and relax. Okay? Check this out. Okay, y'all, check this out. But we're still working to learn if Jamarcus Johnson's alleged role in the killing. The other three people charged in the case are all accused of murder, attempted murder, and conspiracy. Police have only listed a conspiracy charge against Jamarcus Johnson. So you heard what? So y'all heard that, right? Yeah. I'm the only one bringing y'all this good news. And shout out to Old Nan TV. Yeah. Shout out to him. Because he brings facts to you. And let the people know what's going on out there. Subscribe and like. Ain't no way Shout out to her. And don't get them at their they put the bag, you know, for it. Okay, y'all. That's what it is. Okay. Bringing y'all that good news and that good talking, positive shit, facts of what's going on in the young Dolph case. You know what I'm saying? Like Bringing that to y'all. Yeah. You know how I do it. So um. This guy name is Demarcus Johnson, and he is the fourth suspect, y'all. Uh, fourth suspect in the house of Young Dolph's death that have something to do with. Um, this is a mess. They're saying who was, you know, when he was hit up in Rakita, this guy played a part. Uh, Memphis Police Department identified the su suspect as Jamarcus Johnson, y'all. So is that uh, Justin Johnson's possibly brother or something, y'all? What the heck? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, my friend. That is his brother. His half brother. They not blood blood brothers, but they is brothers, and he is related. That. It's going on. Because all the 
own brother to help them out? And he's a Jedi from too. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Um, he is wanted on charges of conspiracy to commit first degree demise. Okay, y'all? Vegas Police Department says Jonathan is described as a black male, five feet, seven inches tall, and weighs 153 pounds. With and by the way, y'all, they already got him. They got his black ass. He's locked up. Locked, y'all. Is he some kid of Justin Johnson, y'all? Um, there's that. Yes, he is. That is Justin Johnson's brother. Half brother. Yeah, this comes one year after Young Dolph was failed. And on top of all of that, he was raving boyfriend. So that shows y'all, Raven, have something to do with setting up Young Dolph, a legend. But I know it's not a legend. I know that's facts. But I'm going to say a legend. We hit him with Keita's cookie shots on airway. The autopsy revealed he suffered nearly two dozen rounds, y'all. So far, three people have been arrested in this investigation. Rounds, y'all. So far, three people have been arrested in this investigation. Days before the anniversary of Young Dolph's demise, 23-year-old Hernandez Gavin was indicted by a grand jury on charges including first-degree demise, conspiracy to commit first-degree demise, and criminal and attempt first-degree demise. Oh, they lining them up, y'all. Gavin pleaded not guilty. I think it was the court. Yeah. Lining their ass up. Get them all in that prison house, and then they're going to throw the key in the ocean. Because that's what they need for killing that good brother. Yesterday, to these charges during his first court hearing on Thursday. Now, right on the street is, y'all, they are saying that Gavin guy, the one that tried to act like he's so hard and this and that and that. They are saying. All right, tell us the word on the street, my sister. My friend, tell him. Tell him like it is. And that Gavin guy, the one that tried to act like he's so hard and this and that and this, they're saying that he's the one that's telling everything, y'all. Allegedly. <laughs> he's the one telling everything, y'all. Alleged. <laughs> oh, man, damn. Gavin guy, the one that tried to act like he's so hard and this and that and this. They're saying that he's the one that's telling everything, y'all. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. So I ain't gonna tell him who else I ain't gonna tell you. You know, I don't see all of these guys. I'm gonna tell you right now. Everybody that they get arrest and charge that got something to do with them spending the rest of their life in jail. Been caught up, and they're saying they're going to tell every damn thing just to cover their ass. Just say, I think they said because all these niggas is out for their self right now because they don't want to spend the rest of their life in jail. So they all going to tell, and that ain't a legend. Got that right. Going down the line. I can't wait till they get Raven and her father. Because they in on it too. So all y'all, remember I said this. Don't be surprised when they show Raven and her father getting arrested. Don't be surprised. And when they do, y'all all owe me apology. Because I've been telling y'all and y'all been downrating me. That they don't have nothing to do with it. We will see that. They do have something to do with it. Let's move on. Now Justin Johnson and Cornelia Smith. Have both been behind bars since January. Facing first degree demise charges. 
have both been behind bars since January, facing first degree demise charges. If convicted, they could face life in prison without the possibility of parole. And they're not because why they not? Because they're going to tell it all. They're telling on everybody. That's why they're not going to spend life in prison. They're going to tell on everybody. They're going to be in protected custody. And the feds going to be protecting them. And they're going to be out here in the street. Maybe within five, day, five years in jail. Or they might not get no damn time. If they tell the right stuff that they... That the feds want to know. That's facts. That ain't no bullshit talking. Subscribe and like. Because I bring you that hot shit. That information that everybody want to know. And want to be kept up on. Both been behind bars since January. Facing first degree demise charges. If convicted, they could face life in prison. Without the possibility of parole. Like Life in prison without possibility of parole. Like and subscribe. Bringing it to y'all. I'm going to tell you, yes, they're all going down. It's just a matter of time, one day at a time. As you see, one day at a time, they bringing one person in. They're all going down. CMGs, they go down. It ain't going to be no more of that. CMG, it's over with. It's done for. Yo Gotti. And his crew, they all going down. Down, 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 down. <laughs> Is this the end for CMG? Are they about to all go down? A lot of Ricos are growing from different cities and states, okay? And I told y'all this is going to be the biggest one because uh, this is nothing um, but a, a whole crime syndicate um, connection that's Connects from Dallas to Memphis. So, um, y'all, and I apologize for that commercial, but we back to the program. So, um, y'all, stay tuned. I read this really, really quick. It says Memphis, Tennessee, on November 17, 2021, officers, officers responded to a hitting caught uh, at Makita's. Homemade cookies at, y'all know the address. Officers located the victim, Adolf Young Dolph Thornton, lying on the ground, suffering from multiple, you know, wounds. Thornton did not survive his injuries. At this time, three suspects have been arrested in connection with this case, and the investigation is ongoing, y'all. Okay? Um, Marcus Johnson has been developed and is suspect in this case and is wanted for the wanted by the Memphis Police Department for conspiracy to commit first degree demise. Um, Jamarcus Johnson is described as a black male, 5'7", 153 pounds, medium complexion, with dreadlocks. Now, most likely, he's about to cut them dreadlocks off, y'all. So, y'all just look at him for what he's going to look like. Because um, if he's wanted, and, you know, police got a warrant out for his west, 
I, it ain't no doubt in my mind he's not going to cut them threads off, okay? Um... I'm with her 100%. He's going to cut them dreadlocks off so y'all get a good picture of his face and picture him with no dreadlocks. He might, if he keep him, you know, he might be one of them, um, you know, if he's some kid of Justin Johnson, you know, um, they're a little bit wacko, wacko. You know what I'm saying? He's going to turn himself in and plan doing videos and all this stuff in the police face. So he could be white people. You might just feel like he got it like that, y'all. It says anyone with information about this incident should call Crime Stoppers at 528 dash y'all. Incident should call Crime Stoppers at 528 dash y'all. Should call from stoppers at five to eight dot dash cash, y'all. Call that number that she gave out, y'all. And with that being said, every one of them go down, including your um your body if you had something to do with it, money back yo if you had something to do with it, and black yo. And Raven, and Raven father. She left that out. I added on four. If they have something to do with it, which we know they do, they all need to go to prison. And anybody else that we don't know about that have something to do with it, they would need to go to prison and throw the key in the ocean. There, I will speak for her. A legend. Yeah. Uh huh. And like I said, you know, disease done. You know, sit outside, but continue to keep protecting the ones that's actually sending them to do it. You know, look at all the um the people that went to jail in the past. Like, you know, the, the, the young guy that went to jail for Boosie. You know, it's a lot of people that's going to jail and doing this time. But see, the, the difference between that and this one, and this is why I think that it's so, somebody's talking, is they handed out life sentences without parole. Y'all is about to get some justice. Rest in peace. Y'all is about to get some justice. Rest in peace. Y'all is about to get some justice. Rest in peace. To young dog. Rest in peace, my brother. We got you. If y'all don't know, young Dolph was the king of Memphis. Yo Gotti, black youngster, and all the rest of them was jealous of that and didn't like that. But he was the king of Memphis. Who was that? That was Young Dolph. Let's move on. Lamar Y'all, he said, Two guys ran at the back of Makita. Uh, word on the street is that back of Makita's with a um, for it and said that she saw two guys running out of the back of Makita's with a um, Makita's um, shirt on, y'all. He said, Two guys ran at the back of Makita's. Uh, word on the street is that was Lamarcus. This was. I've been telling y'all somebody ran out the back door. And that was the person that killed young Dolph. Those people that pulled up in front of the cookie shop, those people ain't really had shit to do with young Dolph death. If they did shoot, they were shooting a dead person that was laying on the floor already. He was already dead. I've been saying that. And that's facts and that's the truth. Everybody else is trying to throw us off that's speaking real. Young Dolph was already dead when he was laying at that window when they say that those guys were shooting. And I really don't think them guys were shooting. You know why? Because the guy that was holding the the, the um the AK or whatever you call that gun, if you look at it real careful, real, real careful, the end of the barrel is bent. It's bent, and his hand never was on the trigger. 
So that shows you, he didn't do no shoot. The guy with the handgun did the shooting, and that was the throw-off, making you think they the one killed them. But no, they didn't. The guy that ran out the back door was the ones that put all the bullets in him, which was 22 shots that hit Young Dolph. Let's move on. And that was him. I've been saying that, but people ain't pay me no attention. They think I was lying and every damn thing else in the book. That was him that was in the Makita shop that did the shooting that killed Young Dolph with 22 bullets. The guys that pulled up in front was a front to make you think they the one killed them. But actually, it was him that did the shooting inside the cookie shop. And what make all this so bad, he used to date Raven. So he was cool with Raven. So he can walk in that cookie shop and go in the back and every damn where else. Because he got that power to do that. Because he know Raven. They used to date. Raven let him know. That young Dolph was coming up at the cookie shop. That's why she said. He always come up at the cookie shop and get cookies. She said that loud and clear. So the ops and everybody else. That don't like Dolph. And Dolph enemies can hear it. So at, at this type of year. For turkey give out. They'll all be ready. Because they know he coming up there. That's what makes her involved. Because she know him. She used to date him. And they know she know that he comes up there at the cookie shop. So they told her when he come up there, let us know. And we be up there. And he came up there and went in the cookie shop. Because he can. Because he used to date Raven. And with that, I'm going to end my case right there. I'm done talking. I'll see y'all at the next episode that I spit out. Yeah. With that, God bless y'all. Subscribe and like, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching this all the way through. Brought y'all some hot-ass news. And everything is a legend, but we know it ain't a legend. But we going to put it like that. With that, I'm gone. See y'all at the next episode. Wow!